We'll look at uh, Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4, and he, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, began again to teach by the seaside, and there was gathered unto him a, mul a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea. And the whole multitude was by the sea uh, on the land, and he taught them many things by parables, and said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. And it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground, uh, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. Another fell on good ground. And I hope that's my prayer and my desire this morning that this word of God, the word of God that's preached unto you, the gospel of Jesus Christ, would fall onto good ground this morning. And I hope that you are that good ground that it will fall on, so that there might be fruit for the glory of God and that you, for your blessing. Yes, it sprang up and increased and brought forth some uh, thirty and some sixty and some an hundred. And he said unto them, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that uh, were with him, with the twelve, asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. I wonder, have you received forgiveness for your sins? Now this is what's so urgently needed by each and every one of us, my friend, forgiveness for our sins. Without that forgiveness, we're heading down to hell by default. Why is that? Because of our sins. Our sins that have not been forgiven, if that's your case this morning. And this may be the first time you've heard this message, I've got no idea, because I don't know you. But the point is this, if you've heard the gospel of Jesus Christ once, you are responsible to respond to it. Now you may have heard it time and time again. Maybe you brought up in, the, in a Christian home where you've heard the gospel practically every day. And so then you are more responsible than the person who's only heard it once. But the fact is, if we heard the gospel once, we are responsible before the God of heaven. And we must understand, we must respond to it. You see, if we don't respond to the message of salvation and leave it too late, we'll end up dying and going down to hell. And as you can see on the back of my t-shirt, it said, the wicked shall be turned into hell. Why is that? Because they do not believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. This is the crowning sin, my friend. This is the worst sin you could ever commit. It's rejecting Jesus Christ. Why? Because he's the only way of salvation. He's the only way that you and I can be in heaven. And so we continue with this, uh, this story, this parable. And he said unto them, He that hath ears, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom, but unto them that are without, that is those who are not saved, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable, and how then will ye know all parables? The sower soweth the word, that is the word of God, the word of God when it's preached to the people. You see, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. We've got to come across the word of God somehow, whether it's reading it or hearing, uh, listening to it being preached, 
uh, like this in a loud fashion or maybe just someone sitting alongside of us at a bus stop or something and explaining unto us the gospel of Jesus Christ how we can be in heaven. The sower soweth so, so the word and these are they by the wayside uh, where the word is sown but when they have heard Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word immediately, receive it with gladness, and have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth, for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. These are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lusts of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word, and receive it, and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some an hundred. And he said unto them, uh, Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or under a bed, and not to be set on a candlestick? For there is nothing hid that shall not be manifested, neither was anything kept secret, uh, but that it should come abroad. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And he said unto them, Take heed what ye hear, uh, with what measure ye meet, it shall be meted to you, and unto you that here shall more be given. For he that hath to him shall be given, and he that hath not from him shall be taken even that which he hath. And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up, he knoweth not how, for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear, but when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth in the sickle, because the harvest is come. And he said, Whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God or with what comparison shall we compare it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which, when it is sown in the earth, is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But when it is sown, it groweth up, and becometh greater than all herbs, and shooteth out great branches, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. And with many such parables spake he the word unto them, as they were able to hear it. But without a parable spake he not unto them, and when they were alone he expounded all things to his disciples. And the same day when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had, uh, they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship, and there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was, a, and he was in the hinder part of the ship, in other words, the back part of the ship, asleep, on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou uh, not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner or what sort of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? And no wonder that they had to obey, my friend, because he's the creator of all things. You see, the Bible says, God created all things by Jesus Christ. So not only is he the creator of all things, but he's also the Saviour, the one that wants to be your Saviour this morning. Will you come to Christ this morning? Will you believe on him? Will you receive him as your Saviour? You need to do that because we're on our way down the hill. By default, God does not want you to go down the hill. 
And that's why the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. But is He your Saviour? You need to come this morning in repentance toward God. That is, a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. And then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. You see, Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. And He was buried. And he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. He's the one that died on the cross. He's the one who shed his precious blood, my friend, that your soul might be saved. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Just change your mind, agree with God that you're a sinner, and then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that God promises you everlasting life. And it's all through the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ and your right response to it. You can receive you can receive Christ as your Saviour and be in heaven, or you can reject him and go down to hell, and that's your choice. I'm just here as a messenger, my friend, is warning you, but I want to warn you to flee from the wrath which is to come. God is angry with the wicked every day, and we're headed to hell by default. God does not want you to go to hell. That's why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ to die upon the cross. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. See, the heaven or hell, what will it be for you? It's all determined by what you do with the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you, and thanks for listening.